Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Subsistence, and we are now in Season 2, Episode 116. Well, uh, I've got some sort of rather sad news. Um, I just did a whole recording and it didn't record. Um, <laughs> but I can't really... Uh, I can't wind it back. So anyway, uh, on this interesting soon-to-be morning half-moon type part of the day uh, yeah I took off in the ATV and I went all the way down to the ore outpost and I picked up 91 copper and 91 iron ore which was fantastic and I've started processing it but the most important part was that I actually ran around and tested what the ATV was like, didn't have one interaction at all with the hunters, but um, had a few interactions with some of the animals. So the bear, the only bear that actually started to chase me a bit, I had to get fairly close, was one right after I've gone all the way down there and come back. That's that damn bird. It is too. He's not like the normal birds migrating, he's looking for stuff. He's Go down and attack that hunter over there, dude. Um, yeah, he, it was actually the, the bear that was right outside my base here. It was a grizzly, not a black. He was right outside the garage door, so when I came back I had to... Actually, I ran around with him a bit and he followed me and went away. And then I was half chasing a bullwinkle who was over the other side there. And then before any of that happened, I had to take out a black bear, because there was a black bear there. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. That was an interesting run all the way down to the ore outpost base, and you wouldn't believe it. So, like I said, it didn't tape, it didn't record, and guess what? On the way down and back, I found not one, but two locked crates. For crying out loud. So I had four lock picks on me, used two of them, came straight back to the base and made another one. I can turn these off now. I can't believe that that happened, but it was a... I wouldn't say the most interactive episode that didn't tape, but it was kind of good. So now I'm back up to three lockpicks after having made one last night. I don't even think this mass is caught back up. No, it's still going. Ah, that's such a shame. Such a shame. Anyway... Um, what we might do is jump back on the ATV, but I was just thinking, uh, when I came back, I did check on something. Uh, the, f the, the fuel that I was keeping. Where did I keep the fuel? Up here. Well, there's ten. I'm not sure why I was keeping it up in there, and why have I got the shotgun out? Gonna shoot the base up. So yeah, I did spend some time at night uh, looking for the rogues and whatnot. And there was one in that direction. So there's one over here that looks like he's a base builder. But those rogues, instead of being where I normally run the um, ATV down to the ore outpost, He's actually up near the mountain there, in, actually inside what I would call Cougar Country, so... Uh, I don't know, he could, you know, for all I know, he could be... dead. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Another 10 fuel. Holy dooly! It needs, like, another 15 fuel to be fully filled. Ah, oh dear, let me have a look. Let's have a look. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Um, 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 no, there, that, so it's the alcohol, oh, in the, oh, damn it, alright, hang on, have to make some, um, we've got a bit of spare alcohol, so let's just use that, it's one per thing, isn't it, so hang on, if I grabbed... I was going to, oh yeah, I suppose that's enough. I just need a little bit more to top it up. So we'll take one from there. So we've got still got eight alcohol left. If I tell this to craft, it's only going to use 40 power, which isn't huge. 
I'm pretty certain when you use this, it just basically the alcohol helps the biofuel to can be converted into the vehicle fuel, and it gives you ten as well. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So there's ten. If I go back to the vehicle again. Oops. Into here. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's very close to full. Okay. Okay. Uh. All right. Well, I'm thinking. I'm very much thinking. I might go for a bit of a run down there, but I'm not going to be able to pick up much in the way at all because I've actually already picked it up. So let's just take the ATV out for a bit. Oops, that's a bit of a dip there, isn't it? Is that a... that's a female deer across there. So we'll go back. Not sure where the big grizzly's gone. Oh, that could be the grizzly up there. He was... I was dragging him up this way. Oh yeah, another deer reacts. And the rabbit. So I've got to keep an eye out for this hunter that's coming down here sometimes. Because I would imagine that he's just going to shoot at me. So I, I could quite easily interact with him at this point, if he happens to be down this way. So we'll have a bit of a little scout around again, even though I came here basically yesterday. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a look around, see if we can find another crate. And mind you, those two locked crates, um, I think it was just from them, I picked up, uh, I think it was six gears in total, it was pretty good. But like I said, it's not that often you get to come across two locked crates in the one session. But this is all good, it's all more resources. Jeez, a lot of scrap around here. Is there more up here? Holy doolies. That's a bit random. Raining. Can't spot Buffhead from a distance, no. Like I said, I went pretty close to this guy's base, you know, yesterday. And I didn't see him at all. But at night time when I looked at the map, he was actually in, in the base doing stuff, so Oh well. I guess that's fair enough. If that you know, if it's as realistic as possible, they just they do do that. Work on the base, then go out and do fishing, and then come back and grab some timber and work back on the base again. Look at this for loot now. Crates all of a sudden have decided. To this well, this one was always here. Mind you, there's a there's a grizzly just there, which might have to go. Or is he walking away? He might. Oh no, he's right. He's okay. Yeah, that was a pretty good little session. Just running, stopping the ATV and having a look around. We'll continue our little run here. So who knows where the guys move to overnight? They just they go everywhere. Last time I did So this guy's base you can see is just there. I think he's just gradually building it up, I suppose. So 
So yeah, the only thing I have to really worry about would be the cougars and the bears and driving too close to them. It's almost like if you speed up a little bit and take off, like the wolves you don't have to worry about, like that guy just disappeared. But just speed up a little bit, but the problem is if you do that you can so easily overturn this thing. Like you wouldn't want to rush over these rocks at all. I think that's what happened the first time I tried using it, and it's the funniest thing when he falls, he looks so dopey when he falls off. <laughs> See, there's a fire over there. Hmm. Okay. He's a fair way over. But the catch is, where are these guys? Like, are they close? Are they a fair way away? I don't know whether they would hear me from here, perhaps. I don't know. So they could be the guys that were up there, and they've moved all the way over to here. They could be fishing down here for all I know. You know, I think I can see, they're just... Skin... skin coloured. Now I can see them both moving around over there. I don't think they're reacting to me, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think I'd have to be a little bit closer. But anyway. Yeah, chook chook. Chooky girl. Alright, so we're going to just continue down to the outpost. Ignore them. Hopefully there's no bear on the edge here at all. Doesn't seem to be. Thought that was a pearl in the water there for a sec. I think, in one way, you're up a little bit higher on the ATV when you're doing this too. Can't... miss my scrap. Can I peek over here? Nothing around. That's interesting though, at least with the um, fire going from the hunters. No, don't go that way, Trevor. Um, you can see them a little bit from a distance. There's a grizzly over there. There's a crate in front of me. Some ore on the ground. Grizzly behind me. Grizzly in front of me. <laughs> guy because that's kind of where we're heading. Hey actually in one way this would be a bit interesting. Go back to the outpost just one day later and see how much ore is in there. I would imagine there's only going to be like four or something. Four or five or something so it won't be a lot. <laughs> Hey, hang on a second, who's that? Uh, you know what? He's not exactly the best shot in the world, but he was, um... Oh, there you go. Some loot. Um, he had a pistol first. He only did, like, what, just over 10 damage to me, and then he got out the shotgun. That was a bit weird. So he's... So, is there more of these guys around here? Is there another base up the top there or something? I don't know. 
you know, if they see me going in and out of this base, do they apply revenge attacks to this base? Don't know. He saw me really before I saw him, I think. But yeah, he's a proper camouflage dude. Hmm. Alright. I wonder if they do damage. You wouldn't want them to throw a Molotov at your ATV or something. Alrighty. So let's have a look. What do you reckon? Four or five? Seven! That's not bad. So it was 1900 before, 1900 again, so that's alright. Okay. So hopefully they didn't see me come and go from there. I'm just wondering whether there's another base around here somewhere. Because that could have been one of the guys, Alpha Bravo Charlie, for all I know. And they could have a base up the top. You know what? I think it might be worth it. Let me just go off the ATV. I'm gonna... Like, at the moment on the map, I can't see really well up the top of this uh, waterfall area. So how about, while well, we've got the opportunity, just have a bit of a sneak up here. Hey, chicken girl. See if I can open up some more of this area. See if I can see their base up here. Oh man! <laughs> ah, it starts again. So this is the third locked crate. Oh, I'm almost chockers already. Well, can't complain, but I have to keep making the <laughs> lock picks. I wonder if their base is up here. I don't necessarily want a confrontation with them at the moment, but... There's a chicken girl. Don't see anyone else walking around. I mean, their base may not even be up here. No, I can't do that. Can't even fit the chicken in. Actually, did I pick up... Kind of like a little bit of everything, wasn't there, really? Their base could be down the bottom there too, may not necessarily be up here. But I think it's worth scouting. So nothing on this side. What about further up here? I don't know, I could be wrong, but I don't think that was a rogue. I think that was one of the guys build the permanent bases, so... Let's see if we can open this up a little bit more... What can we see from up here? Steps, but I think that's the bear. You might have heard that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can scoot around the other side of this cliff. Hopefully, the bear's not chasing us. He could be. There he is. He is actually. He's actually looking towards us. So I'm going to scoot a little bit towards the fence line. He's given up. So I can't see anything back that way at all. Except for a rabbit. There's a crate down here. And a blueberry. Again. Oh, 
all I need now, I shouldn't say it, but is another locked crate. And I'm going to be a bit stuffed. Oops, you can mix. Actually, I might drink a few of these, get my... I was wondering whether there was a, um, a protein bar on me. I would have eaten that, because my protein's going down a bit. Uh, I might as well walk back to the base and then, um, don't run Trev, just walk. Um, oh, geez. Trying to get rid of the blueberries and I'm finding them everywhere. Uh, I can't see any base here. That'd be funny if they built a base just down here on the beach. <laughs> be like, no, no wonder. Yeah, there's a few crates around. Can't see anything at a distance. So the fence line goes through there. There's nothing here. Well, that's interesting. So I wonder where he came from then. Unless he's over there somewhere, which is highly possible. Maybe just do a little bit of sticky bigging down there before I return to the base. It would super make more sense if I see a base being built down here somewhere for him to be that close. There's a grizzly way up there, there's a dog. <laughs> more blueberries. Blueberry season, by the sounds. Uh, unless I don't know how that works, but unless the unless the hunter just spawned and he was walking around looking, I mean that's a possibility, I suppose. Very interesting, though. Uh, I'm not sure if it's possible, I'll leave that. I'm not sure if it's possible though for... Can the rogues be dressed like that? Because then that would make more sense. Alright, let's go in here and just see if I can grab myself. I'm gonna eat... a couple of them... Two of them be fine. Ah, there's a grizzly next to me. Hang on, do I have enough space for meat? I do. <laughs> Rack off from my ATV, you punk. He's a... Oh, that's interesting. So he... Is he right next to it? Cause... No, maybe he's not quite. Kind of smells it, but then doesn't do anything. He's gone, he's gone, but I think he's gonna... Yeah, here we go. Okay, well we need meat. See, if you were a hunter, you would hear that, I'm sure, if you are close enough to me at the moment. Rightio, so what did I just throw? That was... F oh, the fat. Oh, hang on, i got storage. What am I doing? Oh, I had protein bars on me and fuel. Ah, oh, jeez, Trevius, so organised. <laughs> uh, 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 I just need the one, don't I? Where is it? They disappeared again. Where did I flick them? Over here. Can't, can't lose my animal fat. What's going on? Oh, actually, hang on, before I forget. Drive all the way home and then get infected. Let's just um, do the right thing. Wash your hands. Must always wash your hands. Mm. Make our way back home. That's not to say we're not going to run into a, a hunter or a rogue up here somewhere still. She's a, she's a bit of a dangerous area of subsistence now with the hunters enabled. That scrap. Can't go past the scrap.
crap, look. What I well, I've, yeah, I forgot about the storage in the in the bike. What I don't really need at the moment is um. Grab that. Is another locked crate. No, uh, that would be a bit hard. But uh, I f keep forgetting about the um, storage in the bike. Is that a bear in front of me? There's another grizzly. But then there's another storage crate just here. Hopefully there's no bear just here. Can't see over the ridge. Wow, I'm lucky I'm fitting all this stuff in. Ah, oh, crap. There's a bear there. <laughs> there's a bear there. We might have to go closer to those rogues. Alright. Otherwise we could go a lot faster and zip between them. But yeah. You know me, I'm bound to fall off. more the direction where those rogues were. Ah, oh, come on! How many bears are there? Yeah, this is right up where the... There's another blueberry. Sorry, Mr. Blueberry, I think you're safe today. And who knows with these rogues, do they hang around for a long time? I don't know. I could be running straight into the rogue camp now, I don't know. Or is it a bit further to my left, maybe? Oh no, this is the dam. The lake. Damn lake! So the rogues are over this way, to the left a bit more. So if I hug this little lake, I'm kind of out of their view, I think. I think. Gee whiz, Trev, keep to the path, dude. Oh, there's their little... little campfire over there. I'm not sure how close you can go before they truly go... attack. Oh, crap. Surely they must come out for a, a certain distance. I guess I'm just gonna be shocked by the bullets that come flying past me. <laughs> it's getting a bit late in the day too, Trev, so you're gonna have to certainly make your way back home. <laughs> There's a rabbit that had no idea where he was going. Oh well, this has been interesting. Knowing my luck, I'll, I'll run into the into the guy now. <laughs> Just, well, it's getting late. I can't see exceptionally well. Oh well, still a lot of loot though. I mean, mainly because I keep getting um, off the bike to get these crates, but. see the guy's fire. I wonder whether he's... is he put it inside the house now? Hmm, not sure about that. Alright, let's see if we can scoot down here. It's so late in the day, I don't really want to have an interaction with him if I can help it. Or with the rabbits. going to have enough time to really just get back to base. And hopefully there's no bears in the way. I know there's a crate just there. I'm going to ignore it. That doesn't happen very often. 
Oh, I can see his campfire. Tell you what, the the ATV does chug through a little bit of juice, doesn't it? Scrap there. I'll quickly just go and grab this. Run over here and grab this. Let's see if we can get our ATV home. Can't really see a bear at the moment. This is why I don't want to come back home too late. <laughs> I'm chasing a rabbit. See you, rabbit! Alright, so hopefully there is no bear down here because I can't see very well. Looks like I'm okay, I think. Have to watch this little dip here, it's not the most comfortable. There you go, she's kind of kind of parked properly. Ah, oh, look at that, we're back home. How about that? Uh, what did we put in here? Oh, that's right, we just put a bit more stuff. Okay. Alright, I've got to remember that there's actually fuel inside the, um, the boot of the ATV. Alright, let's see now. Oh, the fires are out. That's the one thing I just noticed. <laughs> oh, well, doesn't happen all the time, but they're out. So, let's just fill it with fuel. Ignite. Fill it with fuel, that's why I keep a few of those in there, which is good. Alright, let's cook up that and that. This is where you go, it was fairly successful when you pick up some extra ammo and bits and pieces, which is always good. Uh, another gear. Uh, the adhesive. There is. Why is that not going? You need to keep going, dudes. Oh, look, power's up over 5,000. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty good. Alright, put away our... We picked up another 16 or so biofuel, which is always handy. And we can put away that. Oh, man, we've got so many tomato seeds. We're up to 12 now, which is really good. Uh, how about... Oh, wow. Yeah, I keep forgetting the amount of um, ash that keeps flying out of this thing. So it's still cooking up that. Could grab another carrot, a potato, onion. Might have got away with not having the onion, but still. No, that's pretty good. Alright, so we'll eat a steak. Leave this one here and just see. Oh, it's going to go right up. Okay. A water. Put one of those back in the fridge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Well, that was a pretty good day, I guess. And that's just going to march along. What about these guys? See, look at that. Another nine, is it? Eight. Some water replenishment. So that combination of getting ore from the outpost... Um, and just getting it from here as well is awesome. Uh, I just realised I am going to have to make another... another lockpick, hey! Alright, let's quickly just do that. Because the mass is up. Power's way up still, so that's all good. So I don't know, I think that was a pretty successful um, episode. Not as exciting as the one before in terms of the lock crates, but look, how about that? Two, one episode, and then another one the next. It's like, man, I certainly seem to find a lot of them. Anyway. Alright, people, I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed that today. Hope it wasn't too bad. Um, still haven't had a massive interaction with the um, hunters yet, but I guess that'll build up over time. Anyway, if you've liked the episode today, please go ahead and support the channel by smashing that like button for us. And if you haven't already subscribed, you can super, super help the channel out by considering subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.